You can't make me get out of bed. But Eamon! 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 Come and sing me a song. Okay, I'll come and eat breakfast then. Here he comes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we all felt that. When the day is dark, I just remember the PK version. It's a Sunday morning. A lovely fresh day in London. It's crisp, it's calm, and it's collect. Good morning, wife. You're looking very nice. I'm a bit sad. Why are you a bit sad? We're leaving, we're leaving Jenny. Oh, she's coming back in two weeks. Yay! Am I Yay. coming? No. Oh. So we're going watching a play today, but we're going to try and go get a coffee, and then go watch the play, but we've got to carry our bags around all day and hopefully we can store the bags, we can store them somewhere in the, like, the play, like the cloak room, because if not, I don't know what we're going to do. We're almost at the theatre, but look, just look at English architecture, Somerset House. It's beautiful, isn't it? No, not you. You are nice, but not as nice as that. And here we are to see our boy Sean. There he is. They're looking all shocked. Ooh oh, Lydia's all happy about good people being nice in London and stuff like that. It's been impeccable. Absolutely impeccable. Really lovely, we managed to check the bags. Super stoked. We can relax. We've got half an hour. We're not we're not late. We're actually early for something for once. So we've checked the bags. We'll go and get a coffee. We're not we we're go actually late because we were meant to go ice skating. No, first. no, we weren't. We're talking about no. So we're going seeing the play that goes wrong. Apparently it's really, really good, so I'm very excited for it. And I've got to finish this because they're going to take it off me. Here we go, we're making it to our seats. I'm pretty sure I just saw Sean walk through there right now. Sean! 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 We know that guy, it's called Sean! There he is. Oh wait, are we beginning? Oh, the, the show has started, I just thought he was setting up. I did! Shut the door, Sean! Oh, he's broke the bloody door. You guys should remember Sean because he's Brian terrorised his friend. They grew, up, they grew up going to school together. And then we went to an insomnia. And when we went to an insomnia, we met Sean again there. And then when we were down in London, we met up with him for drinks. And he was like, come and watch me in a play. I've got a main role in it. So we thought, okay, right on. You're excited. I'm very excited. We also lost Eamon. We lost him. Yeah, man, has gone, At man. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> This show so far, how good is this? So good! Like truly, properly, hilarious, like so <laughs> fucking funny. No, Sean's looking for his dog, he's just handed us this. Have you seen this dog? His name is Winston, please let me know Trevor. Oh, yeah, he's was only, dog. <laughs> he's the only good thing in act two, it's your best interest to <laughs> assist my search. Do not approach him or surprise him, he's a biter. Found the CD but not the case, keep looking. <laughs> <laughs> He's climbing underneath the chairs over there looking for it. <laughs> He's handing out these flyers. We can't even see it. Stage door. No, look at him doing his little signatures now. He's come out, he's got his fans waiting for him. We're his biggest fans. We clapped when he walked out, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to run off with him to dinner before his next show in like two and a half hours. So, pretty quick. Now entering a place called Mash. Mash potato at the end. Modern American Mash. Modern American Steakhouse. Mash. Not going to lie, I actually thought this was a place because it was called Mash that did stuff about potatoes. Like really fancy potatoes, not that it was actually called Modern American Steakhouse Mash. Yeah, sorry, Eamon. Yeah, I honestly thought you brought this to a potato house. Well, that's, that was the intention, but you know, they changed it soon. Yo, this is hella nice. Wow. Well, this is looking like a hella nice menu. Look at all this. Ooh, you got caviar, you got oysters. Um, I don't think I want any of them. I keep choking on them. A lobster thermidor. Hell yeah. That's a nice little salad you have there. Look at that, a nice little plate of ham, but half of that ham looks terrible. And oh my god. Look. You, you, I couldn't have picked a better dish. Look at this. The perfect slices of ham. Time for a taste test. 
What are you doing? He's what are you doing? Do what? You got loads. What? To be honest, you do buy me a lot of Parma ham, so you can have it. Amazing decisions have been made, right? I'm gonna check your reaction to your steak. Yes. Very good. Yes. Same. Good. Okay, we've got chili cheese balls, chili fries, macaroni and cheese, potatoes. What's this? Dunno. Oh god. <laughs> meat, we got meat. Yo, this place is hella fancy. Look at this. This is one of the private dining rooms, which is raving. Look at that. Very nice. Very fancy and probably very expensive. The bill is called the damage. So when you go, oh, what's the damage? It's already, it already says it. Goodbye, guys. Bye, everyone. We love you. Thank you very much for having us. Sorry about the rush. We, my favorite Irishman. I'm saying it right now. He, be, he, be, he beats Terrorizer, he beats Sean, he beats Mini Lad. Sean, I'm sorry, thanks for your awesome play tonight, but Eamon's my favorite. Sorry about that. My uh, Uber driver called me to say that. This is a nice area. Uh, to say that. Where are you? Uh, uh, the, uh, our road was closed where the restaurant was, so we have to walk on foot with the bags to get to the Uber to make it in time to the train station. So let's see how this goes. Oh my god, the lights are on. I don't know why the street. I'm not too sure why it's a the charity event apparently. All oh, right, there's a charity ball, but look how nice this is. Oh, beautiful. We made it. Yes. Next stop, oh, Houston. That was a nice quick Uber. Next stop to the train station. Our train we thought was booked for eight o'clock is actually quarter past eight. So we got 15 minutes. Do you want to get some biscuits? Yes. No. Maybe so. Not a hundred. Oh, nothing but the good stuff. I'm gonna go for a latte to keep me awake. And I guess I get to take this milk as well. Yes. That looks like the world's worst latte, but sure, whatever. What do you get here? Stuff. Okay then, right. Look at all these people running to their destinations. We go to platform five in Manchester. Here we come. I really like your Twizzly skirt. I'm also not looking. Oh, shit. I thought it wouldn't be so scary, but that was actually petrifying. Manchester, calling at Stockport. That's our one we want. Platform five. You know what that is on the front of it? That's not a milkshake. That's where it's hit a bird. Look, there's feathers on the front of it. <laughs> That's where it's hit. Because this goes at like 200 miles per hour or something like that. Oh, it's still this, wet. Is it? <laughs> okay, wait. Um, I actually want to say I know where that is. I'm pretty sure that's in New Zealand. Oh, I think I know where oh, By the way, just to show you what we're looking at. Am I right? Does it say here? Nope, I guess it doesn't. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's New Zealand. So, what we want now is after how we've been dating seven months. Yeah. So seven months. <laughs> seven months how months do you know? Because we've had seven arguments once a month for seven for seven months straight. You ladies once a month, you just lose <laughs> your shit. It's literally how we keep count. But anyway, moving on. So, what do you think of daily vlogging then? You know, like now with that, because you've been always been around like my friends and my activities and stuff like that. But now, what do you think of vlogging? Now that we've been around your friends. See, like I don't think you're intrusive at all. So try not to be. It's just that natural, isn't it? Like it's just. We just sat and watched the vlog and it's just... We just sat here for half an hour. It was a 30 minute vlog yesterday. Yeah. And we just sat and watched the whole thing. And it's nice because... It's, it's a I don't stored get to, memory, isn't it? Yeah, I don't get to see... I don't get to see the clips or anything and then watching it all put together. It's just like a, a highlights of the day. So when you've had a really good day and you it's watch the you, vlog because you get to see a perspective of you because you know like I don't always just film myself yeah. do I? I like no, I'd say like 70% of the vlog is me filming looking outwards definitely and I think that's something you have to get used to like being around you a lot because at first you're like, I'm like seeing yourself I'm like oh it's, it's awful <laughs> and then yeah like yesterday when I was not able to get on that <laughs> oh, the thing, yeah, yeah. I'm like oh god I was being so pathetic <laughs> But I was actually genuinely yeah, scared. Just, you just capture that moment, don't you, so you can see it. Yeah. But, but like, I, w I wish I would have recorded Jenny and Eamon's like opinion on this, just because they they also agreed like the way I pitched to people. And if you go back to my first ever like daily vlog where I did it in sequence of like two two years of daily vlogging, I say I like to treat it like like a Snapchat, which is like film ten seconds here, film ten seconds there. Like I know this is a I long clip now. Actually, think you're less obvious than like just my normal <laughs> my yeah. normal friends that just like snapchat or instagram story yeah like i see them when, when they're doing it and like, i get caught off guard by someone doing it and i'm like look at my food I'm just snapchat, <laughs> so I'm like oh beyond whereas i try and just capture the moment so yeah and like if i'm ever awkward you're just like oh no carry on just be you normal yeah. So, yeah. Oh. yeah no i like it i think you've definitely been the easiest easiest going person like, or girl in my life ever uh, when, it, when it comes to the vlogs like without a doubt. Yeah, I just think it's so so nice, so relaxing. 
You're really good at gauging people though. But then there is the days where we do nap all and we're just cuddling and just chilling all day watching like Netflix or just eating food or doing nothing. And when you're like, oh, Tom, the vlog's dead short, the vlog's dead short. It's because we've done nothing. But then what am I supposed to film if we've done nothing? You know, so it's that hard balance, but I like spending time with her. <laughs> so, I just want to say thank you for being nice. Look at my hair. And thanks for liking the vlog. <laughs> And thanks. By the way, she still re she just got she goes through everyone's comments. <laughs> yeah, I do like read all, all of them. Like within a twenty four hour period, she would at least go through the vlogs twenty four hour like comments if if she's in it. I think. Yeah. There's no point going through it otherwise. Is there? Sometimes, no. I normally watch them, but sometimes like I don't read all the comments if this sounds really bad. But if you've asked them to comment something. Oh yeah, like so read like your Twitter below said, and it's just spam. Yeah, then I then I don't read them. Or if you've said like, which is interesting. Don't get me wrong, but when you've said like, oh, I wonder how you say potato salad in loads of different languages, and then you like your comments is just full with like potato salad. I'm like, meh, I'm a bit bored of reading yeah. this. Whereas <laughs> when people are like saying, oh gosh, this is a really genuinely nice vlog, and you know, you know, they tell you a little bit about yeah. their life, I like, I like that. Yeah. I like reading those things. Well, off the, after today's vlog, we, we, I think we will be doing a, a, a Q and A soon. I'm tempted to do like we could do Twitter Q and A's, but I'm tempted because I because I like like the personal response from you guys. So what I'm thinking of doing is getting my Snapchat Q and A going again, like maybe every two weeks doing that because I want I'm getting more consistent with my main channel. I do a Snapchat Q and A so that the people if it's like another couple who've got a question for us, or if it's just someone like we get to see like who that person is so there's the like, natural connection, so they can send in a video message, ask us a question, and we can answer it. Yeah. So if you guys want to add us on Snapchat. It's it's you want to ask us about our seven arguments, you know? Tell we're not me. perfect. <laughs> At all. <laughs> it is quite funny that that's how we keep track of our relationship. <laughs> how long have you guys been dating? Seven. Seven, seven, seven months, arguments. Seven, 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 seven months. months. It's and coming then, up to eight. And, and then when the next month comes on, like, eight months. We've been with argue date times. That's how we work what out. What are we going to do if we don't if we stop arguing every month? We'll just fucking discount. <laughs> then I can't be held responsible for missing our anniversary. Do we decide when it is? No. I, you know what? I'm going to do a really good anniversary. So I'm going to do a great. I'm doing a good surprise. So you have to wait another four months. Yeah, watch, watch this space. Wait four months, and then you'll you'll see if I remembered or not. Guys, guys, in four months' time, just remind me that it's getting close, and I'll, I won't forget. Okay, four months' time. Put it in your calendars now. Someone remind me. Who's going to remind me? <laughs> you send PO box. I'm right still with it. You can actually. By the way, some people have said. Um, we want to send stuff to it, like a letter or something like that. Aww. You know, if she's got time and she can send a response back, she can. So in every video description is my PO box link. So if you want to go down in that, find the PO box, send a letter, and if you address it to Lydia, it'll go straight to Lydia, not me. I won't open her mail. So there you go. Okay. Uh, he says that, but you I've definitely opened my package that came. Yeah, but it, it said Lydia Cassell, so <laughs> I found a, I found a loophole in the system. <laughs> Thank you. And this is what Will Farrell says when you leave the bathroom. Are you ready? door is unlocked. Go! You're free! Amazing. Dear Virgin Trains, okay? Virgin have a broadband service which is super fast fibre through the UK, yet on your trains it's like a potato. It's worse than a potato. It's, it's not even a spud. You might as well be connected to... What's worse than a potato? A sprout. Yeah, it's like being connected to a sprout. That was actually a really good one. You've got sprout, sprout internet. Please fix it. How to risk breaking a $3,000 laptop. One laptop, one cup, balance on Lydia's head. <laughs> I'm petrified. Yes, it was needless to say. <laughs> Lydia is not I'm amused. I'm not smiling. <laughs> and why are you smiling? <laughs> Look what I did to her heart. This is not the beginning of what has been happening no to you. No one cares, it's fine. Hey, you are hot stuff, aren't you? Ooh, yeah. Nope. Okay. <gasps> How dare you? That's assault. Yeah, that's a great story. Great story. Yeah, well then. Tired you up, didn't I? <laughs> she hates me. Know me. Hi, wife. I've been waiting for you all this time. Where have you been? London. Oh, oh. My gardener and it did a smashing job with the grass. Look at that. Nice no, and fucking neat. Let me in. Let me in, you slag. Yeah, that's right. Carry my bags. Come on now. Come on. Let's go and see the kids. Come on, come on, come on, come on, I don't even know what I'm filming by the way, I'm, I can't even see. Kitty cats, let's go see the kitties. Oh, there's another cat, quick, give him a quick stroke. Hello. 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 Hello.
Hello. I don't know if he's been, I don't know. I can't see shit, it's too black. Hi, Steve, he's sleeping now. It's little kitty cats. No, you're not ruining our moment, I'm sorry. Don't little kitties, hello, run away. What do you want, food? Looks like you've been fed already. Hello, hello. Where is she? She's on the chair. Oh, she's on the chair. I knew she'd be hiding. What are you doing, you little rascal? Little rat scallion. Hello, Danny. Hello. Like how you show him no love whatsoever and just go straight for her. We've got to stop showing the kids favouritism. They're going to start thinking we don't love them equally. <laughs> I don't see any poos in the wild. We're okay. Oh, wow. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. Back in Manchester, England, and it is raining and miserable. My plants summarise the weather. Just dead in despair. And depressed. It's a brand new week, guys. So if you're watching this right now on a Monday, I'm going to be live streaming on Twitch.tv forward slash Syndicate from about 6:30 p.m. till maybe around midnight. Yeah, I'm really, really jumping on that streaming grind at the moment. So if you guys are wanting to get in board the hype train, link will be down in the description. But till then, I'll see you guys tomorrow, 6 p.m. ish. Sorry for yesterday's vlog being late, but 6 p.m. ish for the next day of the vlog. So until then, make sure you leave a like, grade, subscribe, ding dong the little notica 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 notification bell. Yep, yep, next to the subscribe button. If you give that a ding dong, you'll get more notifications, or actually the one you're supposed to get when you click subscribe and it just never works, in your sub box, and it'll let you know I posted a new vlog. So until tomorrow, 6 pm ish, I'll see you guys for the next day of the vlog, alright? Much love. I like your guys' faces, and I hate this weather. Sadios.